what is going on my people man I love y'all I've been having people subscribe to the channel and I understand a lot of people say well I ain't that much to me everybody matters and some of the people that subscribed are awesome people this guy Derek Bisson is great he you guys don't realize it but the movie I was I had five or six videos I did and I had to delete them all I was so fucking pissed they were amazing analysis that had I got them uploaded today you guys would have been like holy shit this guy is no fucking joke like every and I know I say that and it's like prove it like you're such a liar because it's not true though I swear he even said he's like do the analysis is great problem was because I'm still new to this OBS thing I was recording and in the process of recording because I was recording I had my settings so that if I was doing a live video there was buffering it said to use buffering I put down to use buffering so what would happen is my voice and the video was so far out of sync it looked crazy but here he said he said he said nice video and analysis audio seems to get out of sync at some point in the vid just FYI I ended up deleting the video because I saw that as well after I went back and uh, watched it and I was like damn I didn't even get to reply to him and say thank you because once I deleted it I couldn't reply to him anymore but the the video that I did was on MBY that one specifically I did one on Sorrento all of them all of them I had awesome videos for all of them uh, this is prior to Sorrento going up today and so prior to VSTEM going up today prior to KPTI rising again and Nixie rising again and just the continuations I've been telling you guys about um, it, I had them but the problem was again because of what happened I couldn't I couldn't keep them up because they, they were so shitty but let's look at this real quick MBI now the reason why I want to pull this up here matter of fact we're gonna go into my stock twits real quick which I'm just about to break a thousand I'm at 960 guys subscribe to my shit follow me subscribe to my post at least you'll get my videos but there was a guy I had said something to I was like hey by the way look at this and the reason why I did it was because uh here it is right here so I replied to this guy because back then I had said, hey guys, look, you're running on a 5913. Just want to let you know I figured this out the other day. Essentially, crack the code the algorithms are using. And the guy's like, this is a pump and dump. Bottom VWAP won't act as support. Look at what just happened. I laugh. Are you serious? Right here. Are you serious? Are you going to come and say that after <clears throat> it already bounced off it perfectly a few times? Get out of here, man. Of course, it's going to drop through at some point, but this was very useful info. I had to hit him up today. Hey, by the way, I wanted to point out to you, like I said, you just needed to change your EMA settings. Look at that. Boom. Look at it right to the fucking line and up again. That You would have got in at 150. But 155, you could have got in and beat the bottom. And then it went all the way up to 190 or something today. And so it's just, it nailed it again, dude. I'm telling you, it, now the settings are off. See how the settings of the EMA right there? They're on nine top left right there. Um, you can see them here. I'll take a snap and show you exactly where I'm looking so you guys can follow me here. It's this area right there, the EMA 93, uh, 91328. So what you want to do is watch what happens when you set these. And I figured this out the other day. In fact, again, let's just crack some codes here. And I want to show you guys. So you know I'm not bullshitting you, right? That's the whole thing. I want you to know I'm not bullshitting. Um, buh, 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 buh. Uh, it was something about, um, let's see if it's here, it's all right here, and I was telling him, yep, yeah, right there. See the original post? You can see it right there. Not sure. I think you should get ready to play the bounce on MBY. I was telling him about a a LJPC because he was my boy that was shorting it. I said, get ready to play the bounce on M by, uh, MBY around 165. It wasn't even close to 165. Yeah, you can see it was still 180. This is the other day before it went to 165. He said, yeah, it could be a quick bang to 180. No, it went from 160. He asked me, did you catch the 165 to 180? I'm like, it's none, yeah. But the point here was just to say that it didn't go 165 to 180. It went like 165 to like 230 the next day. And then it did it again and again. I mean, it just keeps bouncing. Look at what it did. It's like boom, 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 bounce, boom. This time... We're going to change the settings. Because remember, you're not seeing what I was seeing because the settings aren't right. we got to go to indicators, upper chart, EMA, and set them to 5, 9. That's the secret number, the 5. A lot of people do the 9, 13, 28, 9, 13, 200. I do a second 200 a lot of times. This time it had to be 5, 9, 13. Look what happens. Boom. Look at that. Look at that shit. I mean, you just knew the whole time right there, right there. This one came, broke through. Okay. But remember before it went there, it went there first and bounced back up first. Then it dropped through at the end of the day. 
Then what happens? I was like, no, dude, I told the guys, like, even when it breaks through, you can still use the next line. Look at that. Boom, right there. And went all the way back up to, what, 188? I'm telling you, when you crack these little codes, you have an advantage. My boy, who I initially showed this to, he's like, why don't you tell everyone? I said, because I don't want to right now. I, I want to have the advantage sometimes because I'm the one that cycled through this shit and found what the algorithms were using. I deserve a bit of an advantage, right? I mean, don't you agree? If you find it, you deserve to just play that for a little while. And don't run and tell everyone because honest to God, I still wasn't, I still hadn't even confirmed it was the case. Turns out, accidentally, the sh one he was shorting, it was also for that too. It was also for Lahala. Look at this shit. Boom. Oh my God, look at that. It came down. Boom. It's the 13. I mean, forgive me, the nine day. Boom, boom. So it was initially the five there and you could see him. Look. So when we did that, we realized it was this one too. Initially, it came here. Then it went all the way back up and it's like instantaneously. And remember that day, this chart with this line was not the same. That day, the line went higher. It adjusted because of the changes in the price that day, the fluctuations. It was rising faster because the high of the day before and then it curved down. It was so clean. You guys will be like, holy shit. And then you can see the cleanliness of the bounces off of the nine day, which is the green one right there. It's incredibly accurate. Look at that. Boom, boom. And then, from, I mean, really what you do is you be buying it here and then when it gets up here, which it did that day, you sell it. You buy it here when it gets to that line, this line right here, when it goes back up to the five, you sell it. That's what the day traders do. Now they're in a dangerous place, meaning the people shorting it because now they got it riding back on the five again. But anyways, that's just to show you that you have to go through this. Just any stock. You'll just go to any stock that you're watching. Let's say, let's say you're watching... You know, let's just pick one real quick and, and something that moved, uh, you know, whatever. We'll just look at one like, uh, for instance, S well, SVR, that wouldn't be very good. But let's say, you know, <clears throat> uh, workhorse. See, look at workhorse. Some people might have a 5913. Some people might have a 91328. Some people might have just this. This is all they'd have access to. Just the SMA. They're not even using the EMA. If you're not even using the EMA, look at how this looks to you. You're like, what the fuck? What rules is this thing following? But if you throw up the EMA and then all of a sudden you find out, oh, wait, there it is. That's what it is. It's following the EMA, the uh, exponential moving averages. Whereas a lot of the bigger stocks, a lot of the big names like, you know, Apple, Facebook, they react only to the SMA. Like, look at how clearly they react to it. Look at all the EMA in between it. It's like they don't give a fuck about that. They don't care about the exponential. Look what they're doing. They're going, getting down here, gets support, goes there. Yeah, boom, down to the 200. Rides all the way through this till it gets to the 20 day. The navy blue, back down. And then it gets its bearings again. Look, it's using the 20 day. Goes right up to the 50 day. Gets above the 50 day and it's running. A lot of them use the simple moving averages because they're just big dog $500 billion companies. This exponential shit does work for everybody a little bit in some cases, but those are very useful for day trading, for the runners, for the pump and dumps. You're going to want to be using those EMA lines for the pump and dumps and stuff like that. So anyways, that was just a little thing I thought was funny. Crack the code on that, that MBY. Crack that code days ago and it's still working today. Still to this fucking day, it's working. It's crazy. It's mind boggling to me. All you got to do is get this little, this little advantage and you'll just have the know that no one else will know, or maybe a lot of people do, but a lot of people aren't using it. A lot of people are new to this. They don't even know what an EMA is. And it just gives you this sick advantage to, to for free money in the stock market. It's like literal free money if you know this. And that's what always blows my mind. It blows my mind. And it's why I do these videos. Because I want you to know there is ways people are getting free money out of your ass. And they're getting it out of your ass because when you have no idea where these lines are and you're just like, fuck, do I buy, do I sell? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And you're just buying or selling and making bad decisions. These people are the ones who are going, I'll take those shares. I'll sell you these shares because they see all the lines. So they're like, oh, there's, here you go. Damn, they're wondering who the fuck bought 5,000 shares off me at the top of the damn you know, you had the line right there. We were just about to collide with the five-day EMA and someone bought 5,000 shares. Who did that? 
it's a new person who doesn't know any better, who doesn't even see those lines on the chart because they don't even know how to set them up. So I want you to know that's how you do it. You have to watch my videos. I show at least five or 10 of my videos. I show you how to set up the EMA, the SMA. You can set up your linear regression. You could set up all kinds of price channels, all those different things, Bollinger Bands. You have to learn those things. And then you have to try out each one. And then from there, you might go, hey, I like this one the most. But most importantly of all, you have to at least know your averages. All right. I hope you guys appreciate the video. I hope it's useful to you. Try to take some of the shit I show you, use it in your own life, then tell me how it works for you. All right. Love you guys. Peace. Broken, broken, broken.